All right, guys, now that I'm done test driving the Chevys again, that was just for grins. That was not to replace the Godzilla. Uh, anyway, uh, I want to get back in here and show you. So you guys can see down there by the speedometer there, uh, that gear range selector. And this is where I think Chevy could have just done so much better. And by Chevy, I mean GM, because I'm not leaving out the GMCs. But uh, you can see right there, I have 10 gears in my transmission. And you can see the orange that's going up and down as I, you know, if I go on the throttle, it drops the, the, the gears and it goes back up. And in the Ram and the Chevy, it's just not as intuitive. And, I, and now I drive truck for a living, a semi-tractor. So uh, if it's not a manual transmission, which I would obviously know what gear it's in because I put it there, uh, the automated ones um, still have a indicator which then shows you what gear you're in and that comes in big because say if I was towing and I wanted to put it in tow mode we'll just assume it's in tow mode it's not but in the Ford I can actually just go over to the little toggle on the, the selector here and I can actually limit my gears while it's not it's still in drive so now I can limit what that transmission is going to get up to in its gears as I climb grade or even descend um, and that also then helps the computer or the, the engine and the transmission work together for my engine braking. Now people say, well, engine braking, exhaust braking and everything. Gasoline engines have engine braking. Diesels have exhaust braking. If they're so equipped, meaning the older uh, first gen Duramaxes and power strokes and everything, they didn't have that they use their transmission and engine braking at that point to do it um, you know the exhaust brake is something that's something you can turn on and that uses basically uh, pressure to slow down the vehicle instead of your brakes which I think is awesome to have in a, in a truck but I had first gen diesels that didn't have that and we're Chevy and Ram they're just not as indicated as when I when I know how the transmission's working and doing its thing oh my gosh that's a rough riding pig um, you know you you can then learn and sense what you want to do going up certain grades because again it's all about training your brain we don't want to just drive down the the uh, the road like you don't know exactly what you're doing you know here I can pull it down into manual and what's cool about it too is it highlights what I'm in okay so now I know it's, it's doing its thing. What's in manual mode on any of these vehicles, it's basically never gonna let itself damage itself. And so that's fine, but what I like about the Ford is I don't have to put it down in this manual mode. I care less about that, okay? I'm not Johnny Bravo. I don't wanna do that. I'd rather see all my gears here, and then from here, I can limit and or select my gears. You can see it kind of gaining RPMs there. It's gearing down, I'm not touching the brakes. And, you know, it won't, won't go past that it's not going to go past it and then when you're done with it you can just set it back now most of the time i'm going to leave it in 10th gear i'm just going to use the tow haul mode but you know at the end of the day that's an important thing especially when people are trying to use the they have the diesel motor and they're trying to utilize that exhaust brake because the allison back in the lml days when it had the six speed i thought and, and i think and i feel because i've had some my dad still owns one. We're going to do a video on this weekend on an LML on 11. But my 12 LML is very robust with the exhaust brake. And when I used cruise control going up and down the mountains, the speed limit was, you know, 45. I set it at 45, and, man, that truck could keep it at 45. You know, my Ram, I let off the gas, or sorry, not the gas, the throttle, and it immediately started um, braking for me. So, you know, at the end of the day, I, I look at it like, you know, these trucks are getting so much more powerful and so much better, but that new L5P I had, the 21, man, it really felt like I was lay laying into those brakes a ton to get the truck to slow down. And so later I found out that irregardless if you have in tow mode, uh, tow mode and drive and turn on the exhaust brake, unless you're using uh, cruise, um, you're gonna have to put it in manual mode now to actually get it to really gear down which again kind of sucks because uh, you know, you're trying to run down now 10 gears and to me it's just not as good. And I hope they change it with the new interior on the, um, the 24s that are coming out. I hope that they add that gear range in there. And then I also hope that they make it to where you don't have to manually shift that. If I engage the exhaust brake on a, on a, on a motor, I want to feel it. 
uh, instantaneously. I don't want it to keep jamming on the brakes. Now the Ford one um, on the new the new 6.7 is actually pretty good when it's in full full range mode, uh, but none of them beat the exhaust brake in the in the Ram. Um, but uh, yeah, I wanted to make a short video on things that you know you're not nat naturally even gonna think of until beca they become an issue when you're towing. Because you're gonna be like, okay, well, how do I know? what gear I'm in. Well, you're gonna have to pull down the manual just to even know on the Chevy what gear you're in, unless you're, you know, you have good keen ear um, and can hear all those gear shifts and then just remember. But once an automatic starts playing its thing, it's kind of hard to, to get going. So, well, it looks like I'm getting a call, guys. We'll post some more content soon. We're gonna do a towing guide real soon. Thanks.